This is Mr. E, we'll call him, he's a patient of mine, and, uh, and now a friend. He's a gentleman who has had a multi-level severe degenerative disc disease with uh, quite a bit of debilitating back pain, who, is it about a month ago? Yes, did? about. About a month ago, we did intradiscal autologous, that means his own stem cell injections into three levels, three discs in his spine for this axial low back pain. And it's, um, I just wanted to ask him a few questions and maybe help people out who are thinking about doing this. Now this is a procedure that isn't necessarily FDA approved. It's your own uh, body's blood and, blood and bone marrow. And so there isn't actually an FDA ruling on this, which is kind of interesting. And so lots of uh, companies are thinking about doing it, but no company's actually gone through the process yet. So what we did is we, uh, we took out um, Mr. E's uh, blood, marrow and blood, and then spun it down and yielded a, uh, approximately a 3cc uh, injection aid, and then we injected it into his disc. Right. What was your back pain like prior to the injection? I had a relatively severe back pain, and it was um, exacerbated by uh, almost any kind of exercise. It, it had me almost uh, sedentary because uh, the pain would be too much to, to let me do the things I normally did. Uh, and I was starting to take painkillers and I didn't want to do that. That's why I said it's time to see you. <laughs> yes. In zero to ten, what kind of pain was were you having on a daily basis, would you guess? Well, it, it's hard to judge by numbers, but eight or nine, I would say. Okay. It was debilitating, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What was the hardest thing for you to do? <laughs> Get up and sit down. and I Walk? Mean, Stand? Well, no, walking, uh, walking, well, I couldn't walk very far. Okay. I could try to walk, I could walk maybe a block, a okay. block and a half yes. at the most. And uh, before I could, you know, before this started to get uh, as severe as it was, I, I would walk uh, um, at least a mile a day, and, and, you know, sometimes more. On the treadmill, I'd walk two or three miles in a yes. no problem. But with the, with the degenerative disc disease, with the pain, was it, how did it limit you? I, could, I could, couldn't even make it a full, I'm just barely a block. Wow. So we, we did the injection, and what was that like for you? <laughs> not fun. Not fun, okay. Um, it, and how long was it not fun? What do you mean? I mean, the, the injection process. The process itself? Yes. What it, while you were doing it, it, it was very painful. Okay. Especially when you were trying to get the bone marrow. Yes. But other than that, there was nothing. Okay. Just only when you're trying to get the bone marrow. Bone marrow. Good. It's okay. Not well, that's fun at all. I understand. And how soon after we completed the procedure did you start to feel differently? Almost right away. Hmm. And how did you notice? I mean, what was it? I mean, what was the ride home like? I, oh, um, I, I don't recall okay. specifically, but but uh, the, when I thought about it afterwards, mm -hmm. you mean the first time? Yes, sir. I thought, gee. I can do more, I mean, you know, and it got better and better. And at what point, how, how many days after the injection or weeks did it seem to level off, if it did? No, it didn't. I don't know if it got, if it changed much from the first time I realized, but it did get better as soon as I started doing physical therapy. I could, gotcha. I could do a lot more movements. I became more flexible. And so we saw you, we started physical therapy about two weeks after the injection? Yeah. But you got relief how quickly after the injection, would you say? A few days. Okay. And what, what was your pain right then, uh, the few days after? How, zero to ten, would you guess? <laughs> For the most part, I didn't feel any pain. I mean, you know, unless and I did something. You know, if I sit too long, I get stiff. Okay. And sometimes, you know, it's still not easy getting in and yes. out of a, uh, an SUV or, you know, or, or an airplane. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because you have to climb up and, yep. uh, it, you know, sometimes that, that's difficult. Gotcha. But even now, um, I can feel it, but it's not pain. It's just discomfort. Okay. But, it, you know. 
And it's still it's as good as those first few days? Oh, yeah. That's Hasn't wonderful. changed. And you were telling me about in PT, you said, now I can do this in PT. What was it? I forgot. Was it squats? Squats. Yeah. Squats. I never liked doing them anyway. <laughs> yeah. But you can do them now, huh? Yes. Oh, yes. I do uh, 60 of them. 60 yeah. squats? Yeah. You're 82. Pardon? 82 years old? 83. 83. That's also known as a stud. <laughs> so, right on. Well, yeah, it's pretty I, and cool. It, that's doing that many is not difficult. I, in fact, I did eighty the last time, the last wow. exercise wow. session. Anything you would caution people on, or want to advise them about um, from your firsthand experience? With, your, with this kind of yes, thing, don't ever stop exercising. All right, that's good, great advice, actually. That's true. But yeah, a body once motion you start, yeah, motion. once you stop. Because when my back got so bad, I, and then I stopped doing things, and it just got worse. Wow. It was not going to get better no, without right. something happening, without taking some kind of action. And uh, now I'm not going to stop exercising, I and assure you. What about drugs? Are you taking any drugs now? For no, no, no. Well, I take uh, Tylenol, but that's, okay. and I don't take that very frequently. I forget most days to take it at all. Terrific. But uh, sometimes, sometimes. If I sit too long or something, and it starts to get stiff on yes. my hands, but then I'll I'll take a Tylenol just to make sure that I don't have it. And for the most part, I'm pain free, but not totally. That's fantastic. Well, thank yeah. you very much. I appreciate you letting no. me uh, video you. Not at all. Put it on the website. Thanks. Okay, thanks. All right.